Greetings, everyone. Greetings. It's Dr. Michelle here. You know who I am. I am a physician and certified holistic health counselor and clinical nutritionist. What I do is, especially for women who are experience, going through changes, experiencing challenges, result, resulting in chronic stress, I help them release that simply and naturally through my coaching programs, through my um, books, live events, live streams like this so that they can feel more calm and confident and move through their life and onto their necks with clarity so they can live their free life on purpose and with passion. So excuse me, y'all. I'm sitting up here. Um, I'm getting ready. I'm making some a uh, big old pot of Ital stew. Yes, Lord Jesus. So I'm chopping it up, chopping it up. So anyway, um, today's episode is Tuesday. So I'm going to touch on something about tenacity, okay? Moving through the ups and downs of a decade, 2018 and 19. So here's the thing. I'm really thankful to be alive. I live in gratitude. But baby child, let me tell you something. I am so glad that this decade is over. 2018 was a wonderful year for me um, because I published my first book, my first solo book. And guess what? It was an Amazon bestseller. Yes, indeed, honey. Yes, indeed. And um, it's called Conquering the Chaos, the Super Wonder Woman's 12-Step Strategy for a Stress-Free Life. Okay, and I had a lot of changes going on. I had changes in my household, changes in my living situation, and I have been coasting, okay, managing, you know, all right, um, with my stress levels and helping others to do the same. But y'all, sometimes things happen in life that you don't have any control over and you really don't know how to handle it. Let, let's just be real. And even though I was using my same tools and strategies, it was taking me to my brink. It was, ta it was taking me to my breaking point. That was my 2018. And I started having physical symptoms like some that I had when I first um, started this journey with helping people to release stress simply and naturally because I had to release my own. I was having lower back pain. Um, some days it would be so bad, I felt like I'd been in a car accident. And I was actually in a car accident. What was that? 2016 or something? I get the um, days mixed up. Something, 2007, I don't know, but anyway, where I did have back trouble, but my back pain was so bad, it felt like I had just had the car accident, like, that week. So I said, look, I'm gonna have to do something because sometimes when you, when circumstances don't change, you have to change. If no one else makes a shift, you have to make the shift, okay? So I had to make a shift. Then here comes 2019. 2019 was truly a yin yang type of year for me because I would literally sometimes feel like I was in the depths like I was in the belly of the beast and the beast would not spit me out. I would feel that way on one day and then the next day I'm soaring with the eagles. So I remember, I'm gonna be real transparent. There were some things going on in my life I had no control over and I remember I had a breakdown. Not a breakdown that I needed to go see the psychiatrist and be... Um, institutionalized, you know, have an inpatient visit. But I had a breakdown where I just cried so much. I remember all I could do was just wail, just wail. And I just sat in my grandmother's rocking chair and I just wailed all this disappointment and hurt and pain and regret and uh, from years, 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 just welled up in me and grief and all these things and it just came out. And do you know, after feeling so down and so low, the very next day, I got a call from the, um, the producer at CBS asking me to come on the show, come on the Lifestyle Show and talk about um, helping people with stress. 
So it was a, 2019 was a real yin yang year for me. And from what I gather with my clients and my friends and other people I know, they felt the same way. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm thankful for all the lessons I learned. I'm thankful for the people that I met along the way who have added to my life and my circle. And for a lot of wins and furthering my business and making some dreams reality that I didn't think were possible for me, only for other people that I read about, you know? But this decade right here of the 2010s was the most unpleasant of my entire life as a whole, okay? Um, you know, I've had tragedies. As you know, if you know my story, you know my, my brother committed suicide at the age of 21. When my mother passed, that like shifted my entire world, okay? I had health challenges um, at a time when the doctors couldn't understand why I, why I was still alive and um, was so sick that they even suspended my driver's license. But nothing, nothing took me so high and so low than the 2010s decade, okay? So I'm just really thankful for this moment. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing in a minute. I'm so thankful for this moment as we are nearing the end of this decade and the beginning of another one. This time, as opposed to just, oh, I'm going with the flow, I'm going how I feel. I'm being very intentional about my success. I'm being very intentional about my peace. I'm being very intentional about my joy. I'm being very intentional about my wealth. I'm being very intentional about my health and very intentional about my relationships and whom I choose to um, spend time with and share my cipher. You and my cipher, like, I'm being very intentional about that. And so I'm taking some steps a lot differently than when I was at 2009 embarking on 2010. I'm resetting. I'm resetting from disappointments. I'm resetting from stress. I'm resetting from poor um, money decisions. I'm resetting from um, disappointment and heartache and a heartbreak and heart pain from a relationship that didn't go the way that I thought it was gonna go. I'm resetting from all of that, okay? And I'm intentional and making a plan and I'm adding more people to my team to make it happen so that everything I want and need, look, I've had prophecies spoken over me. I've had dreams that 20 years ago that have not been fully realized. My mother spoke some words over my life before she left this planet. So I am resetting because I'm intentional that I will manifest it, I will live it. I will be it. I'm not going to just dream it. I'm going to live it, be it, walk it, breathe it, talk it, and share it. And how am I going to do that? Because I'm not, well, if you're being intentional, it's not about a resolution, honey. It's about a reset. And so I'm going on this journey, and I invite you to come with me on the resolution to reset mini course. I challenge you to do it differently beginning 2020 than you did 2010. If you're gonna be honest with yourself, are there some things that are exactly the same today, December 31st, 2019, that they were December 31st, 2009? If you're really honest with yourself, have you really lived your full potential and played full out? Do you feel more stressed now than you did 10 years ago? Do you have more gray hairs? Well, honey, um, clear on all the other henna and everybody else. They can take care of this. Don't worry about that. Um, sometimes the gray, that's wisdom, baby. But um, if you're honest with yourself, I'm honest with myself. I've had some wins, but I've taken some L's, straight losses, made to lessons. But there's some places where nothing's just been stagnant, and that's on me. That's on me. So I'm 
don't you seem different today for my next 10, from today to the next 10. So go to www.resetfree.life. I'm going to put it in the comments. www.resetfree.life to join me on this five-day mini course. I challenge you. I challenge you to be better, to do better, okay? To live to the empty group. I, I talked about that yesterday. A really playing full out living. No resolutions, no regrets, but a reset. We gonna release, we're going to restore, we're going to recharge, we're going to reset, honey. Release, that's what I'm gonna do. But I want you to come and do it with me. If you have the courage, and if you big enough, bad enough, and bold enough, www.resetfree.life. So um, I'm just chopping up these vegetables because if you know anything about Ital stew, I'm gonna turn around. Um, if you know anything about Ital stew, because I just, I don't know, I'm just having a Jamaican flavor thing going on, then I tell there's no meat. No animal products. So this is something that I'm making. A lot of root vegetables. It's cold outside. It's winter. And I'm going to be strengthened and fortified going into this new year. I'm not going to eat it tonight because, you know, I want to make sure that the, the seasonings and the flavor get in. And then I'm going to make my cabbage because, you know, I'm all about that abundance and that wealth. I'm all about that abundance and prosperity. I speak that over my life. I am abundant. I am prosperous. And I'm going to speak that over you too. I think I see Dr. Um, Tracy on here. I am currency, girl. I am currency. So um, let me turn it around. Um, okay, here we go. So like I said, it's a lot of root vegetables. So I just have a carrot, um, some sweet potato. This is a merloton. I have some cassava. Uh, cassava, I'm sorry. Ca cassava. And um, what else is going in here? Butternut squash, tomatoes, um, my scotch bonnet pepper because I need I need a little heat. Plantain, ginger, turmeric. Gotta have the co coconut milk. Gotta have the coconut milk and some allspice. Um, I'm making a big pot of it, and I'm just gonna let it soothe my soul and usher me right on into success that I can't even imagine, honey. There are things that are waiting on me just like I know there are things waiting on you if you are ready to show up for it. If you're going on a trip, you have to at least go to the uh, destination point. You have to go to the airport to catch the plane, to fly, to go up to higher altitudes, to fly to a different destination. So you gotta put the work in so I'm ready for it. So meet me over at the Resolution to Reset um, five-day mini course at www.resetfree.life. And I'm going to check in tomorrow. But everyone, I want you to just reflect and be ready as 2020 comes in. Get your vision clear, what you want, what you need, what you need to do. Who do you need? to help you with that and um, be safe if you're going out if you're staying home like me um, just rest and reflect and get ready get ready get ready as TDJ says so until tomorrow the happiest healthiest most abundant blessed prop prosperous profitable, loving, supportive, powerful new year that you have ever experienced in your life to you. Thanks, y'all. Let me finish on my stew. It's Dr. Michelle. Sign it off. Bye.